Hello everybody, I am Dr. Imran Khan. I am consultant physician at Care Hospital, Mushirabad. Today, we will be talking about thyroid gland and its disorders. Do you feel excessive weight gain or, uh, or uh, throughout the day fatigue or do you feel, are you feel uh, sleepy most of the time or on another word, another way, do you feel palpitations or weight loss or sometimes anxiety? or tremors this can be this might be related to the thyroid gland disorders so what is the thyroid gland where it is situated thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gland situated in front of our neck and its main function is to release thyroxine hormone thyroxine hormone is responsible how our body utilizes our energy that is basal metabolic rate so when thyroid gland secretion is increased abnormally we will call it is a hyperthyroidism or when thyroxine hormone secretion are decreased abnormally we will call it as a hypothyroidism so what are the features with this how hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism affects our body out of this more common is hypothyroidism that is decreased thyroxine secretion from the thyroid gland so in the hypothyroidism person will have excessive weight gain excessive sleepiness coarse skin or dry skin, intolerance to the cold, sometimes menstrual irregularity. Few of the patients will also present with infertility and uh, also it can be the reason for pregnancy loss. So uh, this, this is very important to know how to go ahead with this kind of symptoms. And the second uh, observation or second uh, disorder is hyperthyroidism where the thyroid gland is functioning in a higher uh, higher state and it will be secreting higher thyroxine hormone than to the normal so in this this kind of scenario patient will present with excessive weight loss palpitations sometime mental confusion sometime uh, uh, tremors or decreased sleep anxiety these are all will be the features of hyperthyroidism rarely patient can also present with fever so uh, if you have symptoms as i mentioned previously either of hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism how to go ahead we do tsh thyroid simulating hormone test it is a simple blood test which we do and if it comes abnormal we will do t3 and t4 levels and depending upon the results of t3 t4 and tsh we will decide it is a hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism in case of hypothyroidism TSH will be elevated and T3, T4 levels will be low and in case of hyperthyroidism, TSH will be very low and T3, T4 levels will be elevated. So now, if a person is falling in the category of hypothyroidism, next test we will do is ultrasound scanning of the neck to know morphology of thyroid gland, whether there are any nodules or whether there is complete enlargement of the gland or is there any small secreting small uh, uh, small morphological changes and uh, another test is anti-tpo antibody that also we know to find out the reason for hypothyroidism if on tsh t3 and t4 levels patient is diagnosed to be hyperthyroidism we do technetium 99 thyroid scan to know whether the whole gland is hyperfunctioning or a small nodule which is hyperfunctioning and producing more thyroxine hormone. Yes, and once the patient is completely diagnosed with hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, we will suggest treatment for it. In hypothyroidism, when the gland is underperforming, we supplement patient with hormone therapy. We, we, we give them thyroxine hormone in tablet form. The doses will be decided according to the patient's characteristic and also depending upon the TSH level in the body. And it will come in a, a single pill uh, which will range from 25 microgram up to 200 microgram. Usually this pill, we suggest them, we suggest patient to take this pill early in the morning before breakfast at least 45 to 1 hour before uh, consuming food. This will be the simple treatment. After starting a, regular, a particular dose, we do TSH repeat test 
after one month or one and half month and depending upon the results achieved we will either increase or decrease the dose of thyroxine hormone so this will be the treatment for hypothyroidism now the treatment for hyperthyroidism will be like we will find out uh, whole gland is hyperfunctioning or small nodule is hyperfunctioning if whole gland is hyperfunctioning we have uh, options with antithyroid uh, drugs like carbamazep carbamazin carbamazole or methimazole or sometimes profil thiouracil so carbamazole methimazole and uh, propyl thiouracil so these are the three drugs which we use to suppress thyroxine hormone release and another option is sometimes we need to remove whole of the gland whole of the thyroid gland and put the patient on uh, daily dose of thyroxine hormone these are the treatment methodology for hyperthyroidism and one class of uh, patient need to be taken special care that is pregnancy when patient is having thyroid abnormality with pregnancy we have to deal it as early as possible and optimize the thyroid function so that the pregnancy outcome will be positive and normal so with every pregnant lady as early as possible we check tsh to know the function of thyroid gland so this is the brief about thyroid gland and its disorder